Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Tristan from Tag Translations and Design, OP Localization and Translation. Um, having a little bit of technical difficulties today. My camera and my microphone don't seem to want to play together very well. So we're just going to go ahead and do a voiceover today. I wanted to quickly touch on something that's been taking place here on some of the websites that we've been building and showing you guys how to build through these different uh, tutorials. So that specifically is Wix. We've actually been having a lot of problems with Wix lately. And I wanted to kind of explain what's causing the problems and some of the things that we can do to fix it and how it's being fixed, just in case you guys were curious. Now, specifically, we're looking at a lot of pages being de-indexed and also a huge drop in traffic coming, of course, from our organic search results. So like your Google search results and things like that pretty much disappear. So this is a Weebly site that I have put together briefly. This was for another tutorial I was putting together and I still haven't finished editing or putting it together. It'll come eventually, but this ended up happening instead. So basically what's going on is, like I said, we had a couple of websites, specifically client websites in this particular case, that were doing really good. We're getting 30, 40 hits per day, and then they just stopped. All the views just stopped, like from one day to the next, and it was awful. We had no idea what was going on. Nobody seemed to have any clue what was happening. And luckily, we weren't actually hit as hard as some of the other pages were just because our pages were a little bit better optimized. But a lot of the pages just directly disappeared from Google. So we were lucky in that sense. But uh, let me go ahead and tell you exactly what's happening here. So Wix likes to build their websites using a system called Ajax. And now Ajax is a little bit different from your standard HTML like what we'd see in a Weebly site. What we have here is the sites are actually being hosted not on the site. So whenever you come in and you click on a Weebly web, excuse me, on a Wix web page, then your browser will actually go and it will collect that information and then it will display the website. Now this is actually really good because it helps us to overcome some of the limits that we have with standard HTML and we can create web apps, we can do all kinds of really neat stuff. The problem with it though is that it's horrible for your search engine optimization. So let's take a look real quick at this. Like I said, we have this site right here, right? We have some text, we have a little bit more text, we have a picture, we have a video, we have a sign up sheet, and we have a little bit more stuff down here. Excuse me, a sign up form, not a sign up sheet. So, this is what the code looks like for this particular page. All right, we have our opening headers and everything else, and then that's it. There's not really anything else to this. I mean, it's just telling us where to go to find the rest of the site. Okay. And if we scroll down even more, that's pretty much it. Here's our Google stuff, and then that's it. There's hardly anything on this particular page, it's at least as far as the code is concerned. You can see right here we have 98 lines of code. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it does give you kind of an example and a visual way to look at the differences between this and some of the other sites. So imagine, if you will, you are a Google robot, okay? And you come in and you look at the site, and this is all you see you're not seeing anything. There's nothing here to tell you what the site's about. There's no keywords. There's nothing. And that's the problem that we've been having. What appears to have been happening is that there was a change in the Google algorithm that caused the bots or the crawlers to not be able to find or extract the HTML snippet or snapshot, which is what it would normally use and what Google actually does with all these other kinds of websites that run on the same system or on the same platform. But for one reason or another, it just wasn't working with Wix sites. And so that's the reason why a lot of these sites have disappeared. So let me show you a couple of other examples real quick. This one here is a Weebly web page. Okay. Uh, we actually have less information on this one. Let's go back up to the top. But you can see we have a lot more code. So in this particular example, we have 246 different lines of stuff. So right here we have our titles, and then down over here, where'd it go? Here's the actual text that's on our page. Here's another snippet of text. We scroll all the way up to the top. Here are the keywords, our description. We have all kinds of, of stuff in here that Google uses to actually rank these sites. And this site is in fact ranked um, on the first page of Google for four or five different keywords. Let me show you another one. This is a website that we put together using a program called Adobe Muse. In fact, this is what we like using now. We're going to be taking all of our Wix sites and building it in here instead. And this actually has quite a bit of content, as you can see. Lots of pictures, lots of text, you know, some pretty cool stuff. My wife built this. I'd like, I like it. So let's take a look at its code. Let's scroll back up to the top. Okay, so here we go. And again, we have 
all of our stuff. Here we go, we have 407 lines of this, as you can see right here. So you can see there's just a lot more content and there's a lot more there for Google to be able to read and then to understand what your site's about. And we have to remember, Google's job is to find answers to people's questions. So if somebody's looking for something, and if my website actually has something to do with that, then Google will say, okay, this site is very relevant to this particular phrase. It's relevant to this particular topic. And then it judges that based on a lot of different things. But we have things like the keywords, our descriptions, our on-page content, backlinks, social media stuff, and all kinds of other things. But all those things put together, that's what causes a site to rank well. Okay, And like I said here, we have a lot of information on this particular site. And this is actually ranking number one on a lot of different terms. And so that's really cool. And it's great because this is a pretty website. And then again, we have the same thing over here. This site is ranking for three or four different terms, and that's a good thing. This one isn't ranking for anything. And our client sites are just barely ranking. They're showing up at the very end of the second, um, excuse me, the very end of the first page or the very beginning of the second page. And that's only because of all the other things that we've been able to do as far as building up backlinks and, and social media and all those other things. So if we don't have those things in place, your site may well have just disappeared. So let me show you something real quick. This is the Google Webmasters tools, okay? And this is one of the things that we can do to see if this is what's been affecting your particular website. Now, if you go into your site, and it'll be under dashboards, and you wanna come over here to crawl, and then site maps, and click on the site map, it will show you this, okay? Now, this particular site, if you guys recall the uh, My Little Pony Translator demo that we did a while ago, this actually has nine pages on it, okay? So right now, well, right now it's showing seven out of six pages. Well, we know that we're still missing two. So out of the nine pages that are actually on this site, only six are even being read by Google at this point. And it's actually a bit of an improvement. We were only showing four, and they couldn't even find the others in our sitemap, which makes me think that we might need to go back and adjust those sitemaps as well. But that's okay. That's an issue for another day. So what Google has said is that they have recognized that this is happening. They are very much aware of it, and they're working to fix it. Now they said that what they'll be doing is as soon as they have a fix for it, they're going to go back and recrawl all of these websites in order to help them get back where they were previously. Now there are a few things that you can do to help this along. Now of course, I haven't quite seen a 100% fix on this because as you can see, we're still missing quite a bit of information on here. But what you can do is you come over here, click on the big red button, and then you want to type in the following, S-I-T-E-M-A-P, sitemap.xml. If you guys can see that and then you want to hit submit sitemap then you will see this page right here and ask you to refresh and then down here you will see your sitemaps that you have submitted so it says here's your type it is pending so far there are no issues it's a website it saw seven last time and it has indexed six of them so as you can see this is a site that i haven't really been messing with and it has been getting better and we've also noticed an improvement on some of our client sites but just to be safe we're actually going to be moving them to a different system we're going to be building them in Adobe Muse like what we did here. But if you are able to wait out this little bit of, of a storm, of course, it's been a few months already and we're still waiting for that fix. If you are able to wait through it, then this is what you want to do in order to keep track of your progress. Also, if you are looking to go ahead and migrate your site from something like Weebly or Wix, specifically Wix, to something else in order to avoid problems like this in the future, give us a call and we'd be more than happy to take a look and see what we can do to help. But that is it for me today. Uh, I hope this information has been helpful to you. And again, just to recap and to summarize, uh, it's a Google site problem, so don't get mad at your Wix people. And it is something that they're working to fix and it should fix itself relatively soon. And these are just some of the steps that you guys can do to kinda help speed that along and to take advantage of it as soon as the fix does take place. And like I said, I hope this has been helpful for you. And of course, if you do have any questions or concerns, please shoot us an email. We'd we'll be more than happy to help however we can. So that's it. Uh, this is Tristan from Tag Translations and Design, OP Localization and Translation. Pretty soon we're going to be changing that to just utahseo.ninja because that's my new website where we offer SEO services and web design. So if you guys are interested, give us a look. The site's not actually live yet, but it will be eventually. Um, yeah. So have yourselves a great day. I will see you guys later. Peace.